Hi there, YouTube friends. Welcome back to Auntie Ace Kitchen. My name's Amanda. I'm just a home cook who loves sharing British and other easy and delicious recipes. Today, we're gonna be making four classic afternoon tea sandwiches. Two different types of cucumber, some coronation chicken, salmon, and not forgetting the egg sandwich. So go grab a cup of tea and let's prepare some sandwiches together. We will start with preparing the coronation chicken. So cook up some chicken, then using two forks, shred it into little pieces. The perfect tea sandwich should be eaten within two to three mouthfuls, so we don't want any large pieces of chicken. Into your bowl, then add a spoon of mango chutney. I'm using homemade, and there is a simple recipe on the channel if you're interested. Then add about a tablespoon of mayo and yogurt, depending on how much chicken you have, a teaspoon of curry powder, season with salt and pepper, and then mix this all together. I like to make the coronation chicken one to two hours before I need it to maximize the flavor. We're then going to leave it in the fridge until we make the sandwiches later. And if you like eating coronation chicken, then you'll love another recipe on the channel, coronation chicken with couscous. Next, we're going to prepare our cream cheese that we're gonna serve with the salmon. So finely cut up some chives, grate in the zest from one lemon, as well as the juice from half a lemon. Then mix this all together with your cream cheese. Again, once mixed, leave this in your fridge until you're ready to use it with your sandwiches, but don't forget to take it out about 30 minutes before you need it so that it's easy to spread on the bread. The final bit of prep we need to do is to make our delicious egg mayonnaise. And you probably guessed from all of the egg recipes on the channel that I really enjoy eating eggs and I'm quite happy to have them for breakfast, lunch or dinner. So for the perfect hard boiled egg, bring some water up to the boil, then place your eggs inside and set a timer for eight minutes. Then remove them from the water and let them cool completely before removing the shells. Cut up a few more chives, then add these to your bowl with some mayonnaise and some whole grain mustard. And don't forget to season with some salt and pepper and then mix everything together, making sure to break up your egg into small little pieces. And you'll notice in the video that I don't measure out the ingredients, I just eyeball until I have the right consistency. And you'll see me adding just a little bit more mayonnaise and mustard, and I generally use three parts mayonnaise to one part mustard. Watercress is usually used in an egg mayo sandwich as it not only brings a wonderful contrast in color, but it adds a lovely peppery flavor to the sandwich. I couldn't find any, so we're gonna be using some dark green baby salad leaves that have a similar flavor. Then is all that's left to do is mix everything together and we're now ready to make our sandwiches. As I mentioned earlier, with the cream cheese, you're gonna to want to do the same with your butter and get it out of the refrigerator 30 minutes before you want to use it. And this is gonna help it soften and make it more easy then to spread onto your bread. This is not only going to act as a barrier, but it's also gonna bring some added flavor. Then add your coronation chicken to your sandwich. And this is an optional extra, but I'm just going to add a little bit of green salad in there as well. Traditionally, afternoon tea sandwiches are served without a crust. And if you're making the sandwiches ahead of time, then make the sandwich, then wrap it up, and only cut off the crust when you're ready to serve or eat them. Another tip is to use a serrated knife, and this is going to ensure that you have clean edges on your sandwiches. The crusts don't go to waste, as you can make croutons and use these then for a soup. In an afternoon tea party, the sandwiches make up the largest part, and you want to serve three to four different types of sandwiches. The next sandwich we're going to make is an egg sandwich, and I personally like to serve this on a white bread. Again, butter your bread, then add a layer of your delicious egg mayo, and with the egg sandwiches, I recommend cleaning your knife after each cut, and this will ensure that you have clean edges. Now for the smoked salmon sandwiches, there are many different ways to serve this, and I'll leave a link below to another video if you would like some more ideas. I love not just to have a variety of flavor and color, but texture. So one of my favorite ways to serve the smoked salmon and cream cheese is with a crunchy base. So you'll see that I've toasted up some brown bread. Then for presentation, we're gonna cut out some heart shapes, but you could use any shape that you have to hand. Add a generous spoonful of your lemon chive cream cheese, then some smoked salmon. Then I like to arrange two bite-sized pieces of smoked salmon on top of each piece of toast. To finish off our open salmon sandwiches, we're gonna season with some ground black pepper, a small piece of dill, and then finish with a light sprinkling of some lemon juice. May I quickly throw in one extra plug that if you like eating sandwiches, there's many more delicious recipes on the channel. And I just wanna say thank you. I do YouTube just for fun. And I really appreciate all of the comments and thumbs up. So thanks for watching. For our final sandwich today, I like to prepare the cucumber sandwich last and on white bread. And as I mentioned in the intro, you can prepare this in two different ways. The first way, we're going to add some of that cream cheese left over from earlier onto plain bread. Then for the second and my favorite way, some sliced cucumber with the skin removed onto buttered bread, adding a light sprinkling of salt, and then we're gonna cut this into fingers for presentation. So here we have some classic British tea sandwiches, perfect for an afternoon tea party to be accompanied with some scones and cakes and of course some delicious tea. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.